Good morning YouTube, how are you all today? Very first thing I'm going to do is weigh myself. Let's do that right now. Let's see if I've dropped a little bit. Okay, so 94.4. A couple of different things I need to do today. I need to train, I need to show you something that happened yesterday, which is pretty damn shit. I want to go get some nice food today. This made me feel better. Something I can fit in my macros. Why not? What do you think my bap chap? Like good bap chap? And uh, to any of you that don't know what bap chap means, it means got my hair cut. What up, peeps? Focus. So guys, for breakfast, I just always have the same shit. It's a staple to me. It's oats, peanut butter, milk, frozen raspberries on top. Absolute heaven. of attack is to do back biceps hopefully get time for a wee bit of cardio as well i'm going to do it quite fast and kind of have like a time in my head to finish because then that way it always pushes me to like keep it going a bit faster keep the rest times low keep my heart rate up a wee bit rack pulls is the plan that's what i have been doing extremely good exercise very good for a thick back also very good for your traps which a lot of people forget i think rack pulls are one of the best things for your traps especially if you keep your shoulders retracted and squeeze your traps at the, at the top of the motion baldy hair Baldy hair. I was making the video of my rack pulls, but I've basically just done 100 kg if I set five or two. But like I say in the last video, I've lost strength all over here. I'm basically just supersetting lap pull downs with straight arm pull downs as well. <laughs> straight arm pull downs. I done like unilateral, as in one handed, rows on like a seated hammer strength machine and supersetted that with cable curls. Then I just went on to hammer curls. I supersetted that with an ab exercise. So I'm just heading home here and I'm just going to show you this wee thingy ling a tingy tingy wingy. Alright guys, so we do see this absolute kick. Absolute fucking kick. So damn annoyed. I uh, have an old car sitting where I live and it's my old car before my new car. Duh. It's been clamped. <laughs> so basically what happened was I, I declared it off-road so soaring you call it so I declared it off-road like back in October and then I put it around the back of where I live which I thought was like you know private parking or whatever you know for the people who live here like chaos and uh, apparently not apparently it's a public road and that's why it's been clamped and the only way I can get it back is to pay 100 pound after 24 hours 200 pound and then 21 pound per day for them to store it and then after that if I don't pay anything um, after seven days it gets it gets it gets crushed so <laughs> look at this shit look at that oh, absolute shit. so the plan is to possibly pay the 100 pound and I'm thinking of then just giving the car to my little brother who will eventually do his test and stuff so maybe it'll be a bit of a motivation for him but yeah these things happen it's all good I even said to them you know in this case you know with me not knowing that that was public road and stuff and the fact that I haven't lived here that long I moved in recently like nope nor have not and as well because the car obviously hasn't been taxed since, since October they may pursue me for the tax of the car since October then. that's kind of crap No, what it is stay positive always stay positive 20 minutes later Victor's here to have a look at it wants to come down and just see it no but right Listen to this. Remember, like I was saying before, I was going to pay £100 to release the car from the clamp. Uh, to do that, you have to tax your car first, right? But this car is declared off-road, so I can't tax it. So he said then I have to pay a surety fee, or whatever the fuck way you pronounce it. £160 on top of the £100. 260 quid then. 
nah, I don't know, I don't know. Just basically taking stuff out of the car at the moment, small things at the moment, and then we're gonna figure out, just keep researching the date, though. maybe sort something out by the end of the day, but apart from that, I don't know, the polo may be going away. What do you think about it? Shame. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Right guys, so just an apple green here. Got the chopsticks ready to see this shit. Which one's mine? This one? So, check that out. Caramel coconut chicken, salt and chili chicken, Thai chicken curry, half noodles, half chips. My body is ready for what I'm about to receive. And that is this. Let's get it into me. Let's get it in there like swimwear. Your dad's your uncle. Your dad sells you Yvonne. Your ma sells the big issue. Wow. <laughs> right, so have sort of come up with a plan of attack towards sorting something out with the car. Yeah, tune into the next vlog to find out if it, if it works or not. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like the video. Have a beautiful time. Goodbye.